Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that's on my 2021 summer bucket list. So if you're new to my channel, um, you might not know that for the past two years I've been creating a summer bucket list um, at the beginning of the summer. And then over the summer I just try to do all these things. They're like things that might not be too hard for me to do, but they're going to be really fun for me to do. So... I've had a lot of fun with it in the past few years, so I thought I'd do it again this year. And this year, because I'm going to be fully vaccinated in two weeks, um, I will be able to do some more things that I couldn't do last year. And they were some of the things that I did in 2019 also. So I'm really hoping that this summer is going to make up for like all of 2020 and the beginning of 2021 where we just could not do anything um with other people or anything so i'm hoping that this summer is going to be fantastic and with these ideas that i've come up with um if i can even do like half of them it's going to be a great summer so i have my bullet journal here and i have a list so here's my list and i'm going to read each of my ideas and kind of just explain what I want to do for each of them um, so you guys can get an idea of like what I'll be doing this summer. I will be making videos about most of these and you guys can take inspiration if you want to make your own summer bucket list which I definitely recommend because it just makes it so much easier to like go out and do fun things. If you are like bored instead of spending the whole day on TikTok you can just look at your list and be like, oh, I haven't done this yet, let's go do that. And it's just a super fun way to have a great summer. So, the first thing that I want to do is visit an amusement park, which I'm going to be doing in a few weeks. I'm going to Universal, which I cannot believe. Um, the day that I'm going to be, like, fully vaccinated, we are flying out. And I am so excited because I haven't been on the plane since March of 2020. Um, and traveling is one of my favorite things in the world and not being able to do it was just so hard so I can't wait to go there. Um, so that's kind of one that I already know I'm going to be doing. Um, the next one is go to a concert because I love listening to live music and I know that some concerts are starting to be rescheduled for this year and um, they're going to be put on now so hopefully I will be able to go to a concert even if it's something small I just want to like hear live music um because it's been a long time I haven't been to a concert since I went to the Shawn Mendes concert in 2019 in August so it's been a while I wanted to go to a concert last year of course that couldn't happen and I'd love to go to one this year so I hope that can happen this summer the next one is camp at the beach. Um, I've only done this a few times and I'd love to like bring our camper. I know it's pretty hard to get a campsite at the campgrounds near the beach near us. So I'm hoping we can get a reservation or go during the week or something. But I think that would be a really fun thing to do this summer. Also, I'd love to have a bonfire. This is something um, that my family does pretty often. So it probably won't be too hard, but I'd like to at least have friends over for it or something. I also want to go on a trail ride because I haven't been on a trail ride in a while. I think it's been a few years and I love horseback riding. I take riding lessons and it's always fun to like get out of the arena and go into the woods and see some stuff so that should be fun. I also want to visit some movie filming locations. A lot of movies were filmed in Massachusetts and I would love to go to some of the locations um, and like maybe not recreate scenes, but like take pictures where stuff happened in the movies. Um, the next one is go to a baseball game. I know Fenway is open for uh, limited capacity and because we're vaccinated, we could probably go there. So I'd love to do that. Or even if I was just going to like a small, you know, hometown baseball game, that'd probably be good enough too. Um, the next one is do my own triathlon. So this would be a great video. Um, I've been planning it for a few months. I had this idea, I think it was at the end of last summer, so it was already too late to do it then. But I really want to, like, of course I wouldn't do the full, like, triathlon lengths, but I'd like to do, like, swim, bike, and run all in one day. I also want to do a chopped cooking challenge. I used to do these with my Girl Scout troop, and then they got pushed back because of COVID, so... I'd like to do just one of these on my own, have my mom pick out a few random ingredients at the grocery store and then just try to cook. Um, if you don't know this about me, I really love cooking and just creating meals with really weird food. Like I'll just pull out random ingredients from the pantry and like make stuff. So I think it'd be really fun to try this challenge with 
you know, ingredients that I haven't necessarily used before. Uh, next, I want to watch the sunrise and sunset in one day. So I did this last year and the year before. Um, I had sunrise and sunset separately on my list, but this year I want to step up the stakes. I want to do it both in one day. Um, I feel like just seeing the sunrise or just seeing the sunset is a little bit too easy. So I want to do both in one day. Uh, I also want to play sand volleyball. This was on my list for last year and I didn't get to do it because I hurt my hand mountain biking and wasn't able to do much like in the way of activity using my hands and arms for several months. So hopefully I'll be able to do this. Hopefully I don't injure myself again. I also want to tour a college, which I know we're going to be doing this already, but I just want to put it on here so that once we do it, I can check it off and also so that you guys can see it in a video. I would like to change my hair. I know I already have an appointment scheduled to cut my hair, but I haven't decided. I feel like I want to do something different. You know, it's always just been like straight across, so I don't know. Maybe I want to do something different. I definitely have to... Um, research that a little bit more. It is kind of a big commitment, you know, to change your hair, but like it grows back. It's going to be summer. I'm going to want it short. So I don't know. I think I need to look into that a little more, but I want to do something. I'm at least going to get a trim. So we'll see about that. But you guys will probably be coming along on a vlog for that one. I would like to go on a road trip with friends, even just like a day trip. I think that would be fun now that I have my license so we can go, I don't know where we'd go, maybe like to the beach or something. I'd like to go ziplining. Um, this one isn't like a complete given. I might not be able to do this, but um, I know I have in years past and it's been really fun. So hopefully my family will want to go with me because I know ziplining is super cool. Next, I want to go to a drive-in movie. After last year, I think we went twice last summer, and then three days when we were in Florida, two of those days we went to a drive-in, so I had like two videos in a row of going to drive-in movies, so kind of obsessed with those, and I want to go to different ones. We have a nice one like 25 minutes away from us, but I also want to try out some of the ones a little farther away too. I really like ours, but like it's fun to go see what other drive-ins are like and what they're showing, so I really want to do that. Um, I also want to go on a long distance bike ride, and by long distance I mean, I don't know, maybe like 10 miles? Maybe? That's probably fine. Um, especially like on the road, it's pretty easy. I don't feel like going on a long distance bike ride in the woods because I feel like we just do that anyway because we do a lot of mountain biking. I don't exactly know where I would go on a long distance bike ride, but I guess we'll figure that out. Next, um, I just wrote fireworks because I haven't decided if I want to watch fireworks or set off fireworks. So either one would work. Um, I know some years we aren't around for 4th of July. Actually, almost every year. We're, we're hardly ever around for 4th of July, so maybe I will set off my own or something, but we'll see about that. I also want to go paddle boarding, which is one of my favorite things to do in the summer, so I definitely will go. It just kind of depends on where I go, so I'll probably bring you guys along with that too. My next one is to make some money because I'm going to need some money to fund some of these I have been planning on babysitting, or trying to at least, after I'm fully vaccinated because I need to buy a new phone. And also there's a little bit of camera equipment that I think I'd like to buy for my channel to elevate my content for you guys. So I will probably um, try to babysit at least a little bit. Babysitting isn't my favorite thing, but it pays very, very well, so I can probably stand it for a while. Um, I also want to get temporary tattoos, you know, like the ones that last like one to two weeks. I feel like those are just a really fun summer thing and it doesn't like wash off in one day like the child temporary tattoos, but it's not like permanent. Um, the next one is go night swimming, which I had on my list last year and possibly the year before. No, I think it was just last year and I was going to do this in Puerto Rico. But we weren't able to go, so normally at night when we're in Puerto Rico, we go out to like the hot tub around like any time from 8 to 10 p.m. we'll go out. And I was kind of counting on being able to do that, but COVID said no. So maybe I'll be able to do that this year, we'll see. 
Um, the next item is use a roll of film. I am very, very sparing with my film. Um, my last roll took me like a year and three months to use and it's like 36 shots. So this time I'm going to try to use one in one summer. Uh, so hopefully they will turn out well. Hopefully I'm not wasting it. I don't think I will be. I just, I don't want to use it up too fast. So I like to compose my shots very very wisely and I definitely need to get a little bit less sparing with those. The next item is go on a spontaneous road trip. I love spontaneity. I love to go just like pick up and go wherever just wherever the road takes you. So I think this would be a really fun vlog to like get only a certain amount of time to plan and pack and then just leave. So that might be fun. Um, well, I know it'll be fun. I also want to visit history because being in New England, we have so many historical sites that we can visit that I just haven't gone to. I would like to visit something in history and it'll be educational, so should be interesting. I also want to bleach something. Um, I would like to like draw on jeans and bleach them or something like that. Um, it just sounds fun because Normally I'd have tie-dyeing on my list, but I've gotten kind of sick of adding color to stuff, so maybe I need to take it away this time. We'll see how that goes, but I'll probably have a video for that if it comes out well. If it doesn't, then you might see the fail on my Instagram. <laughs> uh, the next one is camp on an island. I really want to go to, like, Nantucket or some island in a lake somewhere, like, maybe in, like, Champlain, um, and just camp on an island. Um, if we were going to Nantucket, we would take the ferry, but in Champlain, we might kayak and camp, which is something that's on my, like, ultimate bucket list, but I don't know if it's necessarily going to happen this summer. That's why I'm leaving Nantucket in there as an option. The next one is go kayaking separately because I don't want to put them together. I feel like that would be a little bit too hard for just this summer, um, but we do go kayaking at least once or twice a year well I go paddle boarding a lot and um, normally I, I don't go kayaking but I have somebody with me on a kayak so I don't count that you know we have like the inflatable kayak and the inflatable paddleboard and then like I count the solid kayaks as something different I feel like inflatable stuff that's paddle boarding but then the solid ones that's kayaking I don't know why that's how I store it in my brain but that's how it is Okay, so the last item is to make a clothing item. I don't know what that clothing item is going to be, but I really do like sewing and knitting and crocheting. So hopefully I will come up with something cool to make and I'll show you guys. So yeah, that is my summer bucket list. I'm going to be starting on May 1st and it'll probably go sometime until like mid to the end of September. Um, I kind of give myself a really long time span to do these and hopefully I'll be able to come up with some great videos of these for you guys. So yeah, let me know which is your favorite um, summer bucket list item and let me know if you have any others that you think I should put on here. So yeah, make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye!